during the uh, television um, and radio interviews and broadcasts, the people of Guyana were very, very excited to, to hear this message. And as simple or, or as uh, used to hearing it as we may be in the States, you know, they celebrated hearing that Christ is black. They celebrated hearing that they themselves are the 12 tribes of Israel. So the East Indians, they owned uh, radio shows and TV shows out here. So uh, uh, during the uh, live programming of Bishop's show, uh, this Elamite walked into the, um, into the room and he said, look, you guys can't be teaching this. Some people are going to find it offensive. You don't want to run into any trouble with the, the regulators. Absolutely. They will shut the registration down. No, that's not, we understand that. So, so what, what, words, what words would you prefer? What, what the program is about? It's about um, teaching our people who they are according to the Bible and teaching them to keep God's commandments, to obey the laws of God, which in turn they're going to obey the laws of the land. Um, no murdering, no stealing, no lying, no committing adultery. And to love one another as brothers. The boss of the radio, well first, one dude walked in, he whispered something to one of the guy's ear, to the guy handling the, the keyboard, the engineer board, and then he walks out. I'm looking, we were reading, I believe, Acts 13 and 1 about uh, certain prophets and teachers that were called Niger, but Isaac pronounced it the correct way, nigger. They were not happy about that. They were not happy about that. So why the word niggers? Oh, okay, okay. You see that? I'm sorry, that yeah, was yeah, in the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's in the Bible. No, no, I, try, I tried my best to come here. I can show it to you. We're not lying. It's actually in the Bible. We just read it verbatim. So they use that word to say, oh man, you can't bring it out like that. What is this? What this sort of boss comes in? What kind of uh, foolishness is this? What? What are, you, what are you guys doing, man? What are you doing? So um, they ended the show early. We had to, and then he wanted us in his office. He pulled us into the office and he told us to have a seat. He was real stern and austere, like he was trying to put fear in us. And he thought he was gonna punk us. So he's, evidently he's a big boss. Not only is he the head of uh, his own uh, radio station, he's the, uh, a publisher of his own uh, newspaper. He stated that, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna make some higher ups pretty mad. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna encounter some resistance from, you know, uh, the powers that be. So um, he takes us in his big plush office and he tells us, sit down, sit down, sit down. So I guess, and that's to show you, when Indians get with a, a little power and money, they really believe they can talk to black people any old kind of way. We sat down. Isaac's a little nicer, nicer than me. So I let Isaac talk, Captain Isaac. He's talk with a soft voice, soft voice. Yes, you know, we're going to bring up the gospel. We're just, he said, what, what were you guys teaching? So Isaac's talking real nice and mellow. And he goes, where are you, where, where are you guys from? We said, America. Where? Brooklyn. Brooklyn! So, <laughs> you know, you, sometimes you got you to gotta toot your horn with that American passport. That, hey, that's what the Apostle Paul did. When they found out he was a Roman citizen, they had to back up a little bit. So we had to do the same thing. We went over, over the history of our people here in Guyana a bit, and um, he also elaborated on some things that he knew, and um, it went well. So he backed down a little bit, and his office is beautiful, by the way. He had wine, all kinds of expensive wines against the wall. Uh, um, Corinthian leather sofas and a black woman on his computer. I didn't even know she was there until we were about to leave. Little black, pretty black girl, and I know what was going on. You know what's going on. Simple black women out there always spreading your legs for the damn enemy. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. Let me get back to the subject. He thought he was going to punk us, and, um, and I said to him, why don't you uh, invite, uh, do an interview with us if you want to get to know about us more. So he, at the time he agreed, but the spirit already showed me something was gonna go wrong. He actually invited us back for an interview for the bishop for a newspaper, but um, that was eventually canceled.